Hey everybody, hope you had a great Christmas. Um, Mad Dog and I sit down today and just talk about some things that have happened this year, uh, some Christmas traditions, what we're doing with the kids, and what we've got coming in 2024. So uh, hope you're having a great time. Uh, deer season's wrapping up in a lot of places and hope you are having some success and spending time with the family outdoors. So let's get right into it. All right, <laughs> Christmas. Welcome, Welcome to the Art of Hunting podcast. <laughs> We've been compiling notes about what we're going to talk about today, and I know it's, uh, what, is it the 26th, the day after Christmas-ish yes. around there? Yes. So everybody's hanging out with family. Yes. We're going to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm also dying, yeah. so I'm trying to, like... This might be your last Christmas. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it no. won't be your last Christmas. No, it's not. I just don't feel amazing either. <laughs> I'm just exhausted from... You know when you cough so much... That you're just so tired of coughing. You're just worn out. That's where I'm at. Yeah. I've hit my wall and I was trying to be a big girl, not go to the doctor and <laughs> just taking like over the counter stuff. But I li it's literally just a cough and yeah. it will not go away. And I've had it for three weeks and go to I'm the doc. finally biting the bullet and talking to a doctor via chat because <laughs> <laughs> I hate going to the doctor. Via chat. They do those e-visits now. Yeah. But that's how I'm spending my holidays. There you it's go. Coughing along up. Ah, you'll be fine by then. <laughs> you'll be good to go. Yeah. Anyway. We've uh we we've been unbelievably busy around here. Um, just really since we started Black Friday. Yeah. Um, it's been pretty nonstop. So we've all we've all just kind of been grinding through, chipping in, you know, um, plexiglass like sourcing plexiglass was a thing and oh I yeah we had a hunt Bristol for that yeah. one afternoon um <laughs> but yeah we've just been really 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 trying to fill orders we appreciate everybody's orders a lot of people opened them yesterday so hopefully we have a lot of happy uh customers that have art hanging on their wall yes so um yeah that's now that we're talking about it that's one thing that um we kind of lose sight of, I know I do, I don't know about you guys, but like um, we get so busy filling orders and doing this and doing that, you sometimes forget that like, man, this gift is going to make somebody really happy. Yeah. Like somebody spent good money on it to make somebody happy and you kind of, I'm not, you, you, it's easy to lose sight of that, you know, but yeah. <laughs> it makes it worth it when you think about somebody opening our product with my work and being happy about it. Yeah. The main ones I can, an example of that I can think of is the custom turkeys. Yeah. I can't stand making those things. <laughs> There's, th I mean, them. I like making them, but they're honestly really time consuming and ch a challenge to mm -hmm. learn. Me and InDesign don't get along. I always oh, push a button. <laughs> when Aust Austin's like second day was here and he like did something real quick and fixed it. And I was like, yes, another person that knows how to do InDesign. Yes. <laughs> but I always like seeing after I make those and you sign them and then like, cause usually they're a gift for somebody yeah. and like seeing the posts about them. <laughs> people yep. really love those and are they really cherish those mm -hmm. and so i'm always like oh look my, my time look yep. at that <laughs> that's so, right but that's the main example i think of with that kind of thing yeah and it, it it's it's cool to think about all the locations that we've <laughs> sent art to Mm -hmm. So Tammy in here, we get a kick yeah. out of Tammy. Every time we send one to Texas, she'll be like... She's from Texas, yeah. Amarillo, Texas. I know so-and-so. They have a great barbecue place there. But you you start to think about, like, we've sent art all over North America oh, yeah. this, this year. And, and man, the Canada people this year Canada. have, like, stepped up. Mm -hmm. They love some Ryan Kirby art. <laughs> they do, and they pay a lot for shipping. I know, to do. and I'm so sorry, y'all. We, I get, I have gotten that question so much this past few weeks, and I'm just like, <laughs> unfortunately, that's not our. We can't control that. Yeah. We can't control the fees. We can't control the tariffs. We can't control the restrictions. So, because we use UPS as our main shipping source, mm -hmm. we don't get to determine that stuff. Yep. So out of our control, I feel really bad every time I have to tell a Canadian that and I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Hopefully yeah. one day we will get there. Yeah. And, and we, we may be able to find a different solution after busy season too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. We'll have to look into it. We, we've literally just 
been working our tails off to, to stay above water, you to know, fulfill and, orders, answer emails and help yeah. you guys and make sure that y'all get something good for Christmas this year Yep, has been our goal. And everything, you know, all my art, it's, it's made sourced frame, all that kind of stuff in the U S but we're still not immune to like some shipping delays and stuff coming in. So like frames might be delayed or this or that or the mm-hmm. other. And so we, we, uh, um, as a small business, we're growing. We're just we're just trying to tackle problems every single day. Well, and so. me and Cassie were just talking. She's like, "So, how has your busy season been? Has has it been better than you expected? Is it as you expected it to be, or is it worse than you expected it to be?" And I was like, "Well, I would say it's been better. Yeah, but it's definitely been busier than I expected yeah. it to be." It's it's a challenge. The knockoff deal was a pretty big thing we had to deal with. That was a big. That took a whole week. That took a whole week. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot, and you know, we're we're also trying to round out like like canvases. We moved away from the mounted canvases, bought our own printer. We're stretching them. You know, I was I was telling Kim just this morning. I feel like we'll have our stuff dialed for next year. Yeah. Uh, Or here's what we offer. Here's how it comes. Here's how all that. Well, yeah. Like we've said in a previous podcast, we have done a lot this year. It's a lot. A lot of growing, a lot of changing, a lot of new stuff. stuff. So Mm -hmm. to get, to only have this many hiccups, I feel like this Mm -hmm. year has been pretty good. Yeah. You guys did really good job, really good getting ahead of inventory ahead of this fall. Now the frames were delayed, but like that kind of out of control. That's what I was Um, saying. But yeah, that's been a good one. <coughs> and, but we <coughs> go ahead. But the like canvas thing, like to I think that's at a good spot. We just got to mm-hmm. get all the mountain ones out. Mm-hmm. And but we're at a that's streamlined and on a good system. I feel yep. like and Cassie's really good at keeping up with that count and all that jazz. Yep, we've already talked about renovations for the off season. Oh lord, what we're do change oh, okay. take out. <laughs> okay, but I was um. So we, we have the 35 acres up the road that we bought, um, and we've got Christmas trees on it. And um, it was kind of a it was kind of a cool moment. I was sitting there with Brooklyn, and I, I took her, and we were sitting in a box blind. And so the the fir- we're planting it in two phases. The first round of trees is like a year old, and they take about eight years to to mature. <coughs> and we're sitting there and like we had just got our Christmas tree mm-hmm. and I was, you know, Kim did all the decoration thing. I was literally turning in copyright infringements while she's while decorating, decorating the tree. Aww. Yeah, that was our Christmas hustle. Um, but, you know, Brooklyn got a big kick out of it. They got a huge kick at picking out the tree. And then and most of our trees will be sold wholesale and mm. shipped. Who knows? Somewhere. Where. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not going to be a choosing cut. <coughs> and I was just sitting there in the stand thinking like, this is kind of cool. We're going to like provide a Christmas tree to all to of these people. And you start thinking about like the individual trees going to individual families. And like there's, they planted 12,000 trees. Wow. Right now. So like you got to think eight, eight years from now, you know, we're going to be providing a Christmas tree for 12,000 people. Wow. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. You know, now, you know, we're not donating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it was kind of a little bit of a sappy moment with my little girl in the deer Aww. stand. Think about how many people we're going to make happy. Think about how old she'll be in eight years. Yeah. <laughs> Think about the boys circling around here like little she, sharks. She'll be what, 12? She'll be 12. Oh, my gosh. Mm, how's that feel? I don't know. <laughs> it's his heart's breaking as one, I'm looking at him. We'll have one teenager and then an almost teenager. How is... Rhett much older than her? Is he Rhett's three? seven. She's four. He's so three, three years, years older. older? Okay. Well, that's not a bad age gap. Yep. Hopefully he'll be a good... I've already th- thought about making him go in and work in the Christmas trees to earn his first vehicle. Because that'll be like the right time. He'll be turning about 16 yeah. by the time we harvest those. Yeah. So... I had to buy my first car. I know. <laughs> and I paid with cash. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> that thing was paid for with my savings bonds. Savings bonds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, you guys have any Christmas traditions? Anything cool? Well, we used to do the real trees, but we went to a fake tree. Oh, no. 
Yeah, it's just easier, man. No. <laughs> and we have dogs. Our dogs freaking would dig up our trees all the time out of our man little tree holder. We're tree not stand. providing a Christmas tree for you. No. <laughs> Sorry. You and Cole need to start a new tradition having a real tree. <laughs> no. Yeah. We said that. Be awesome. I said, well, <laughs> this is funny you say that because I was like, so, um, I said, because I really thought Cole was going to be like, we have to have a real tree. Yeah. He is not. Really? He wants a fake one, too. I'll work on him. Well, because he doesn't, and I agree with him, because I hate it. The lights, putting the lights on it is the dumbest thing ever. That's the fun part. No, it's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> and so Cole's like, nope, we're getting a fake one. It's pre-lit. He said, I ain't putting those oh. lights on that tree. Come on, man. He said, it'll be pre-lit. No way. <laughs> and I was like, I agree with you. I'm not fighting you on it. He And he goes, do you really think I was going to fight you for a real tree? I said, yeah. I thought you were going to be like, no, we have to have a real tree. He I said, no. Know. He said, I'm all about the ease. <laughs> and I was like, okay. It's pretty fun when you have little kids, though. You yeah. You take them out and pick it. Pick it, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what that's what I said. I said, I do miss... We used to do that. Mm -hmm. We I Like, every year, we'd go pick one out and c cut it down. We'd cut it down ourselves because we knew people that had... Because, yeah. you know, my mom's from here, so she had connections. And, like, my grandpa used to have some behind their house, but he sold them all. So they're dead now. Yeah. They're all stumps. And so we would go pick one out in the backyard or something and watch my dad try and cut that thing down. <coughs> but no, I mean, we always go to church. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. We're at every church mm -hmm. service. We used to, uh, y'all used to go to the Cove. You remember the mm -hmm. Christmas at the Coves? Services. I don't know if Kim and I were ever there at the same time. I don't think I've ever been to a Christmas at the Cove. Oh, my gosh. I well, bet they're big. my mom was on staff, so yeah. she had to be there at every service. Yeah. And for the people that don't know, we used to go to a mega church. Like, it was a giant church. I mean, I don't even remember how many people went to that church, but it was a lot. And so they had, like, eight Christmas services. Holy crap. Between the 23rd and the 24th. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they did. So if it was on a weekend, they would have like two on a Friday. Actually, it was three days long. You'd have two on a Friday, three on a, yeah, three on a Saturday, and then three on a Sunday. That's crazy. So our whole weekend but, or the three days before Christmas, or two days before Christmas, was Christmas Eve services. Dang. Okay. And so my mom was on staff, and she had to be at every single one of them. And so, and it was exhausting. Yeah. Because they used to, like, bring in the live animals, and... They had, like, a live nativity scene? They had a live nativity they scene. They had carriage rides around the parking lot, a horse and carriage. Really? Yes. They had hot cocoa, and it it was honestly like a big party, yeah. basically. And then you had your Christmas service. Yeah. Um, but they had like a petting zoo. Like Lazy Five used to bring animals oh, so kids cool. could do the petting zoo yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it was... One year I was Mary... Eli was a shepherd. <laughs> Mom, dad was a, a wise man attendant. No, he was like carrying the wise men attendant. He was like carrying the wise men's like cloak down the aisle. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was crazy. And we would all be exhausted. You know what would have been a cool podcast now that I'm thinking about this? <laughs> would have been getting uh, Land and Legacy guys on and talk about wildlife habitat and Christmas trees. That would be a cool episode. Because it's kind of the only thing I don't like about having the Christmas trees out there is it's kind of barren. Yeah. Like they basically they spray everything else off, so it's a Christmas tree and clover. Yeah. And that's about it. Uh oh. Sorry, that was a rabbit trail. No, but that's cool though. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what we did for Christmas for a long time. Because my mom worked there for like twelve years. Yeah. Do you want to hear a crazy one story though? It includes a camel. Okay, let's hear let's hear the camel story. <laughs> so one year, I think I was ten, 
So I was in like fifth grade and Eli was like eight. Okay. So he was like in second grade. We had a children's choir okay. for the service. And so we were in the children's choir to sing. Like, I don't remember what song it was, but somebody had the bright idea that they were going to bring the live camel down the aisle at church. Inside. Inside. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was because mm. every every Christmas service at the Cove, they always have a scene where Mary and Joseph are holding baby Jesus at yeah. the end of a song. And like, so usually what they would do is the wise men would come down the three aisles and like they'd put like the live nativity in there. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I don't know whose idea it was, but somebody was like, let's bring the camel inside. Okay. And for you listeners, this whole auditorium is giant. Yeah. Okay. So the camel could fit easily. This wasn't like a steeple church that you're yeah. coming down the like hallway. This was like a giant auditorium. Okay. Well, and f somebody, oh, our production guys installed some fake snow blowers. Okay. In the auditorium. Well, so we're rehearsing for <laughs> this scene. And so us kids are singing. And I think we were singing like below the stage. So we were going to come down and like sing. And like Mary, Joseph, and them are on the stage. Well, we're singing. The camel's coming down. Somebody's leading the camel down. Well, and it's blowing the fake snow. Well, the fake snow was like soap, like some sort of bubbles. Okay. The camel slipped on the soap and went crazy yeah. inside. <laughs> so chairs are flying. Somebody jumps on top of me and Eli and tells us to get down because like the chairs are flying everywhere. It broke like a TV, one of our screens, like so the singers could see the words. Yeah. It broke one of those. That camel went crazy <laughs> and it's bucking and rearing and oh, I thought I was going to die. Like everybody, <laughs> all of us kids are screaming because like the camel's just flailing. The guys lost all control of the camel in the, <laughs> in the uh, auditorium. And so I don't know. I don't really remember. I think he just grabbed the halter and yeah. like got it to chill out. But then they walked it back outside. That's a terrible idea. And they were like, um, we're never doing that again. Don't they spit? Don't camels spit? <laughs> I think alpacas do. I don't okay. think camels do. But it went... You know they poop. I mean, you, you, that is just a recipe for... So... <laughs> disaster. We always tell that story. I guess <laughs> me and Eli... And now me and Eli have like PTSD every time we see a camel. And they're big. They're massive. They have big feet and yes. small children. Like yeah. that. that's not a good idea. I don't know who... And so we lost like a $1,000 TV or screen because... <laughs> It broke it. And like, who who said that was a good idea? But, I yeah. wouldn't even bring a goat in, but a camel <laughs> is a not smart idea. And it was a big camel, too. That was yeah. It was giant. It, like, <laughs> it looked like a legit camel from Egypt. Like, it was huge. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Christmas at the Cove, man. That Christmas was, at the Cove. That was the... That's our... We tell that story all the time. Yeah. So we're always like, so like now at the rock, we'll be like, don't bring a camel don't into the auditorium. Camel. There ain't room for a camel in there. <laughs> we didn't have any real big traditions growing up, but I, one thing that I do remember though, is that, um, so I was born in 82. So like the mid, you know, late eighties, early nineties, that was like <laughs> our go-to like when you have an infant, Christmas isn't all that cool. Right. Like, you do the things, but it's just like you just have a you pet just, It's a, every day. Yeah, it's still an every <laughs> day. But then as a the kids rock. get older, it gets more fun yeah. and it gets cool. And then they start playing with toys and still believe in Santa. So, like, this was after the Believe in Santa phase. Sorry if there's any four-year-olds listening yeah, to this podcast. I we hope children don't you. listen to this. <laughs> but... One thing, uh, my mom and dad, they would, they tried to like get us the same amount of like presents and spend the same money, kind of be fair to us there. Oh, yeah. But my mom would also like stuff stockings. That was like her deal. And mm. I mean, you'd have a stocking this big and that sucker would That's be how bulging. ours are too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And she would, she, you know, we, we didn't have a ton of money, but she made it work. Like she'd like Tic Tacs and gum and mm -hmm. like she'd like make things stretch a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and but and we'd get great gifts. It wasn't Tic Tacs and gum. Yeah. Like that wasn't our Christmas <laughs> gifts. Or socks. Sorry, mom. Yeah. Try not to throw you <laughs> in the bus. But but I always remember <laughs> that during the era of Real Tree Monster Bucks. Again, if you've never seen Tommy Boy, you don't know what I'm talking about here. But Real Tree did a, a Monster Buck series, and these were like the first some of the first filmed hunts that I'd ever seen. And they would go all over the country, and it was on a VHS tape. And I'd never forget with the first thing, as soon as somebody opened up Real Tree Monster Bucks, it went in the VCR. Yeah, like, we're not done opening presents, but that sucker is it's getting on. in the yeah. VCR. And from then on, it had to kind of break mom's heart because like we were like zombies, so you're kind of like unwrapping. Just but you're walking. watching, like, oh, that's cool. Well, look at that deer, you know, <laughs> like it got shot. And so literally, all you're doing is paying attention to Real Tree Monster Bucks the whole time. Yeah. But that that is like a, a the one thing I remember about my childhood is opening presents <laughs> and watching Real Tree Monster Bucks. Oh, I and do. And I had know. a new one every year. We do have a speaking of stocking stuffers. My mom always gives us Hershey's chocolate in stockings in our stockings. So like the Hershey's bar. Yeah. But she gives the girls just milk chocolate, and the guys get the ones with the almonds in it. Mm-hmm. You know why? Why? Because they have nuts. Because they have nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, that's a that's what she does it every year. We always saw, get Hershey's chocolate. Um, so I I'm I've got a membership with Sportsman's Guide, which is like a website just for hunting stuff and everything. And they send you a catalog, and uh, you should get this for your dad uh, for <laughs> Christmas. But they have they've got ammo, chocolate ammo, and they have a chocolate nine millimeter. Like <laughs> you know, and I always remember like. When you would eat the chocolate Easter bunnies, mm-hmm. like it's like a foot tall. It's like way Huge. too much yeah. chocolate for anybody yeah. to eat. But it's like a massive amount of chocolate. Well, they have like chocolate nine millimeters. And I thought like, <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> it's cool. But That's like, funny. <laughs> and they're like real actual size. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but I don't know. I, the the visual of somebody putting a nine millimeter in their mouth is just weird to me. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's the first. You know, that's the first that's bite. That's the visual I have. Time, but <laughs> well, um, do you guys do chocolate anything? Do you guys do Santa with the kids? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My parents made it like a game. They yeah. broke it to us pretty early that Did Santa they? was not real and that it was a game <laughs> that mom and dad like played how with early? us. Like I was probably six. I was probably Rhett's age. Okay. And Elon's probably Brooklyn's age when yeah. they were like, So Santa's a game we play. <laughs> Like, that's what they kept telling us. That's a little young for Eli. It was, though. Like, it wasn't like a... I mean, we they tried to make it because they didn't... They were the parents that were like, we don't want to lie to our kids. So yeah. they want it to be like a, okay. a game. And so... <laughs> but I think I was the kid that went to school and was like, Santa's not real. Oh, you were that kid. <laughs> yeah, so, but anyway, um, but they oh. would do like... We would still do the like milk and cookies and stuff. Yeah. And then mom and dad would, oh, and we'd leave carrots out for the reindeer. Yeah. But then we would like, mom and dad would eat the cookies every night, but then they'd like go outside and shave the carrots off like the reindeer ate the carrots. Yeah. So that was a thing they did too. But yeah, they made sure it was like a game (laughs) with us and that it wasn't like a breaking our hearts when we're like, oh Yeah. We, I think Elf on the Shelf is one of the most genius ideas ever come up with to like manipulate our children and make them behave and stuff like that. And but Rhett's too smart for that well, kind of stuff. Kim said it's he just, was it, freaked it, out. <laughs> it's like <clears throat> you try those things with him, and he's like, "Wait, you mean this elf comes every night into our house?" Yeah. I was like, well, he, yeah. It's like I don't like that. That's what I don't like. <laughs> an, I don't like an elf coming into our house. I was like, well, he he doesn't stay here. He goes away. Well, how does he get in and out? Where does he go? Yeah. And you, you, it's like it's exhausting, and yeah. you're trying to, you're like trying to cover up a trail of lies to your kid. And finally, it's like, dude, I, I don't care. Yeah. We, we don't have to do Elf on the Shelf. I, yeah. I don't. I don't Kim care. Kim told me and Cassie that she said, yeah, Rick got really freaked out about it and was He's, like, no, I don't. No, I don't want a yeah, little, I don't want him in my house. <laughs> I don't want a little stranger in our house. Yeah. Like I don't want him coming up into my bedroom. At night. Yeah. I don't. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> She said he was so freaked out about it. And so, cause I think Tammy asked them if, or asked Kim if y'all do that. And 
Kim was like, I tried. We tried. <laughs> She's like, and but, Brett was like, no, I, this is too much. I don't, uh-uh, no. <laughs> I honestly think he, he like goes along with Santa, but he probably already knows. I'm sure he knows. Because he's the kid that's like, well, how does he get in here? Well, he comes through the chimney, and we have like a wood stove in there. Mm -hmm. It's like, we well, he can't fit down there. And we've got special powers. Well, how do his boots get through? Yeah. You know, he's that kid, and it's just like. Has he watched the Santa Claus with Tim <sighs> Allen? Dude. Oh, yeah. He's seen all those. <laughs> oh, well, see, it's magic. <laughs> but it's like, it, it gets exhausting. It's like, dude, I, I, I don't know. Just play along. Yeah. Just play along for your sister. Okay, he's not real. Get whatever. <laughs> yeah. But Brooklyn is all about it. Oh, yeah. Um, and Brooklyn, so we go we go into Tweetsie, and uh, we did Tweetsie Railroad with, mm -hmm. for the kids. And, uh, you know, at Tweetsie, you're always in a mixed crowd. You never know, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. what anybody's what you're gonna get. beliefs yeah. or yeah. anything in there. And since COVID, they, ha they basically have Santa behind a glass screen. Oh, yeah. I saw that last and it's year. Like a, it's almost like a globe. It yeah. looks like Santa and Mrs. Claus in a snow so globe. So sad, yeah. It's kind of weird. Stupid. And the kids have to stand back and then speak into a microphone of what they want. That's sad. So, yeah, that all changed during COVID. So Rhett goes in there. And Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn was scared but wanted Rhett to speak for her and yes. tell her that she wants Barbie roller skates. She told me this story. Yeah, and <laughs> Rhett didn't do it, so now she's mad. So we have to have – Brooklyn is going to write a letter to Santa to let her know that she has Rhett so, uh, uh, unicorn roller skates. Yes, she wants unicorn roller skates. And so Rhett gets up there, and he's like, what do you want, little man? He's like, a 410 shotgun. <laughs> And, and, you know, and you, everybody can hear it. And Santa looks at me. I was like, all right, we're going to find out who Santa voted for right yeah. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Is Santa going to give yeah. me the nod and the wink, like, good job, Dad? Yeah. Or is he going to be like, you're raising a terrible child yeah. asking for a shotgun? But I've already got him. I've already got him one Aww, order. So he's sweet. getting a 410 for Christmas. Sweet. Um, He'll be actually, this is after Christmas, so he got it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then... <clears throat> we're going to get like, we're going to wrap a bunch of other stuff. Like we'll wrap up the ammo and we'll wrap up the site. Yeah. That kind of stuff. That's so. what my parents used to do. They would do mm -hmm. like a big gift, but then little ones that went with the big gift. Yep. And also my birthday is the week before Christmas. So that's always been a question. Everybody asks me <clears throat> is yeah. like, how, how do your parents don't, don't you hate your birthday near Christmas? And I'm like, no, cause they kept it separate. Like, Did they? Yeah. The, no, they always keep it separate. And I always had my own little party. Or the problem, though, was nobody could come to my party because they had other, they stuff. Had other stuff for Christmas going on. Hmm. Now, I had parties, but it was just always, I would always have to do it like early December to do my birthday. Yeah. Because my birthday's literally the week before Christmas. Yeah. And so. But usually what I always, because I'll get, well, do you get the same thing or do you just get one gift for your birthday or Christmas? <laughs> and it's like, no, because Eli's birthday's in February and yeah. he still gets his own gift and a party. And so why does mine have to suffer? And my mom would always say that. She'd be like, that's dumb. Yeah. Whoever does that is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and so my birthday, usually I would ask for like, two things yeah something really big and then something kind of minor and i'd always ask for the minor thing for my birthday and get the bigger thing for christmas yeah. so was whatever it was you that's just i knew how my parents worked yeah. so i was like that's what they're gonna do when you also knew santa wasn't real at six so you had <laughs> that was like <laughs> a thing yeah early. it was well mom was like we didn't want to lie to y'all <laughs> 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 they're great parents they just that was their that's how they did it though and eventually i think they got exhausted from yeah. trying to do it it's 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 hard it can be hard like like my hunting closet out here is full of christmas presents um oh one year i me and eli found our christmas I'm sure gifts you did. in our parents closet <laughs> and then we lied about it then we got in real trouble and my dad, being a state trooper, had just finished a course on lying. Yeah. So he was using his. <laughs> He's playing mind games. Yes, with he you. was using interrogating his, you. His class on figuring out that we lied and like how to get us to confess, and 
Yeah. And he was like Jedi mind tricking us. <laughs> and we were, I think I was in middle school. Was this after you knew Santa wasn't real? Oh, yeah. This okay. was like middle school. Okay. Because you could have turned that table real easy. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, who's the one lying about Santa yeah. Claus? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this was, I was in middle school, I think. Yeah, yeah, I was in like eighth grade. Eli was in like sixth grade. So, yeah. That happened one Christmas, too. Mom and Dad were so mad over that. That was the year we got Nintendo DSs. Yeah. And so we got those little Nintendo DS double screen things. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and you could play them in the car. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got those. I got my little Nintendogs game where you could play and have all these dogs. So you had Game Boy when I was a kid. I had a Game Boy, too. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I think I got that the year before. <laughs> yeah. And then they came out with the DS and it was like, oh, this is basically a really maxed out version of the Game Boy. Yeah. Because it was a double screen. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool though having kids though. Like it, Christmas really isn't Christmas really isn't about us anymore. It's pretty much all about the kids. Well, which yeah. Which is cool. That's the point. Yeah. Well, my parents' Christmas gifts are showing up today. Yeah. At our house. And I told them, because they're coming in multiple packages. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, do not open these. <laughs> I was like, these are your Christmas gifts. Do not open these. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> I don't know. I got them new tailgate chairs. Oh, yeah. I like that. They're, oops. Because they're, uh, their camp chairs are just horrible. They're like falling apart. And these yeah. are like App State. They have App State on them. Because the original ones were just black. And so I ordered official licensed gear. Yeah, I ordered four of them. I got them pretty cheap, and yeah. I was like, oh, "But I think they're coming in multiple, like in four packages." Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, "Just go put these in my room." <laughs> don't shake them. <laughs> yeah, and I'm praying they don't have the picture on the box. Oh, one of those. That would be horrible. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. That's all right. It'll be all right. Well, let's talk about what's new for 2024. Yep. As we head in the new year, mm-hmm. um, what that's one thing we wanted to touch on here is what we've got coming up. Um, you know, we learned a lot this past year, and we've got a lot of new creative stuff coming out. Obviously, uh, we've got new video content. Yep, courtesy of our boy here, Austin, um, who's got some new cool ideas and new. We got a new setup, new podcast setup. I like this a lot better. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> So um, we'll be doing a ton of new stuff, new content there. Um, but as far as products and things, we've got hats yes. coming. They should be coming. Yes. Um, what else? We want to come up with a new customized turkey thing yeah. that's not custom turkeys. Yeah, we want to. We want to make. We want to like make that. I don't want to say make it better, but like, yeah. what's the word? It's labor intensive and we want to, you know, turkey hunting is a very personal thing. It's a very social thing with yeah. your buddies. People don't get, I've, I've noticed this over the years, but I don't think people get as sentimental over deer hunting as much as they do turkey hunting. Yeah. That's what I, really I was going to say. Why. I feel like turkey hunting is super sentimental. Yeah. And Especially for the hunter and who they're sharing it with. Yeah. So we're just trying to like expand and make this product just better. Yeah. I don't know how else to say it. Hey, everybody. We've got something that we have been working on for months. It's going to be live next week at RyanKirby.com, and that is hats. We've got deer and turkey and some designs that we have custom built and custom created ourselves. So we're really happy about those. Check them out and all of my usual canvas prints, paper prints, and originals at ryankirby.com. We want to think of something that's cool, that's customized, that's got my art. Yeah. um, Unique, contributes well to the atmosphere of hunt camp. Um, So we're looking for ideas. Yeah, so if you have any, comment. Let us know. I know y'all want a buck one, but... That's just gonna. That would be have to be somebody's full time job. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I've had a lot of people asking for it, but we just there's it's too right now until we can find something like super easy and streamline and quick to make. 
Yeah. We can't do it yet because there's going to be a lot of people that want it. And it's mm-hmm. not a bad thing, but we've got other stuff mm-hmm. and we don't have enough people at the moment to do it. That would have yeah. to be somebody's like full-time job yeah. to do it. So we'll think about it, but yep. we're just not in the, we're not ready for it yet. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a great, um, you know, most, most customized stuff is just really kind of lame. I feel like I know. Like uh, I see like the the shirts and the the stuff. It's in order to do it right, it has to be templated where it's like kind of kind of automatically done in the background and then just spit out. Yeah. Um and the thing with the customized turkeys is it it's very uh kind of labor intensive. There's formatting, there's uh you know, you've got to turn measurements into an eighth of an inch. You got to do all kinds of stuff, and yeah. that one's never the same. And also, the photos sometimes they come in, they're not great. We've yeah. got to color correct those, so they get really labor intensive. And I feel like there's something better we could do that's easier for the buyer and just as cool, if not cooler. Yeah. So we're looking for that because you know, turkey hunting, like we said, is more it's more of a sentimental thing. I feel like yeah. like we had Cole booth on the yeah. podcast he um he ended up shooting a turkey with his grandpa's ashes loaded in as a buffer with the pellets yeah which is awesome and <laughs> you hear a lot of stories like that with turkey hunters or they shared a special hunt with their best buddy or their grandpa or their dad on a ridge and they want to commemorate it and so we want to we want to help that somehow some way we want to upgrade it Upgrade. That's the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. We want to upgrade it and make it better Mm -hmm. and cooler. And so. So we're looking for ideas. Yeah. Those. I have to look at the camera right there. Yeah. Prompt people. Leave a comment. comment (laughs) Yeah. Leave a comment (laughs) on your idea. (coughs) Well, Uh, we. What else? We have hats. coming up. Seawe. You'll be back at Mm Seawe. So you'll be painting some new originals for that. Yep. Um. Yeah, I mean, new year, new year, a lot of new stuff. I'm happening. getting married <laughs> in 2024. That's right. <laughs> in a year, no, it's less than a year now, 10 man. Ten months. It's 275 days. Oh man, <laughs> the countdown already. The daily countdown. It's like, it's like, I think we're in the nine months now. No, tomorrow I think is nine months. Okay. Yeah, the 14th. Yeah, tomorrow is nine hmm. months. Wow. We're in the single months now. <laughs> it's happening, guys. It's, it's happening. Ryan That'll makes cool. fun of me, but I am getting married. That's a yeah. big change for the company. It is a big change. Yeah. So I'll be gone yep. for a week. <laughs> can y'all manage? We can manage. Just don't do it during Black Friday week. No, it's September. <laughs> it's September. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you got anything else? No, I think I think we covered a lot. We'll wrap it up. Everybody enjoy time with your family. Um, usually, like, the kids are off for, like, a week around this time. Yeah. So we'll be doing a lot of rabbit hunting and jacking around, shooting, stuff like that. So. Oh, that, yeah. I always fun. forget rabbit hunting yeah. is, like, a big deal, too. Yep. I used to do it. What is wrong with me? You did? <laughs> yeah. Yep. As a kid, we used to go all the time. That's why I love that your fair dad. chase. Uh, yep. That fair chase painting was awesome and canvas. Yeah, we'll have to do something for that too. (coughs) Anyway, thanks for being here on the Art of Hunting podcast and uh, check us out at ryankirby.com for all of our prints, uh, paper prints, canvas prints, originals, and be sure to follow along and come see us at CV. So that's a good time and uh, a lot of fun. So appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.